Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books. <laughs> and I am driving around today because I am attempting to film my summer three hour vlog today over on my vlog channel. Peter Vlogs, we'll see if I make it. I don't know, I might not. But anyway, I was talking a little bit about books that I have been reading in July over there today, and I was like, you know what? I want to do a book vlog talking about the two books for Peter's Book Club for this month, which I have completed both of them. Um, the first book is called The Maidens by Alex McAleetis, and um, the second book is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I gave five stars to both books. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this spoiler free so it won't ruin it for anybody that wants to read the books. Now, I had also said that I was gonna read um, Alex Michaelides' book, um, The Silent Patient, but I didn't get to that this month. And I also said I was gonna read Emily Henry's Beach Read, which I didn't get to, get to this month. So, I'm gonna read those next month. <laughs> I promise. Um, I have read currently, for the month of July, I have read like 15 or 16 books already. And I'm currently reading um, A Good Day for Chardonnay by Dorinda Jones, which is the sequel to, um, which is the sequel to uh, A Bad Day for Sunshine, which was the series that came out last, I think it was last September. And I read the book and um, then everybody started recommending Cozy Mysteries to me because I loved that book so much. And that was the beginning last September of my love of Cozy Mysteries, which has now turned into, you guys know, this obsession of mine. And I just recently, like two months ago, I read the first book in the Charlie Davidson series by Dorinda Jones, um, which is called uh, One Foot in the Grave, I think, or something like that. Anyway. But this month, I have read so many books, and um, I was trying to kind of like read more, and I've just like been so blessed to read so many fantastic books this summer. Um, my goal for the year is 102 books, and I am currently at 60 books right now. If I finish the book that I'm listening to and another one by this weekend, when the month of J uh, July ends, I will be at 62 books for the year, and then I will have to read, uh, I'll have 40 more books to complete my goal. I am hoping to reach my goal by the end of November, so that the month of December I can read holiday books, and longer books. That's my hope for my reading this year because I have several books between the, um, like on Audible, between like 18 and 20 hours, and then I have some that are even longer than that. Like I really wanted to read The Stand um, that is I think 47 hours, which is doable, but that's like a whole week of listening to one book for me. Um, and so, you know, because I listen to books usually at two times speed or two times five speed, so that's like, you know, 24 hours, something like that, and um, over the course of, you know, seven or eight days, it's like three hours a day that I would have to listen to. I mean, it's doable, but I don't want to do that as one of my books when I'm trying to, like, I want to reach my goal first and then listen to that book. So anyway, but I've heard that it's fantastic on Audible. Okay, uh, The Maiden. So, The Maidens is an interesting book. Now, I have to tell you, my good Judy, uh, Tanya Jean, is reading it right now, and she literally cannot get through it. She's like, I do not like this book. She loved The Silent Patient. Um, and at first, she really liked this book, but now she doesn't like it. And um, it was interesting because she called me up and she's like, I've already figured this book out, which I had no clue what was going on until, I mean, I had some ideas of maybe like who the killer was and stuff. It's about a murder mystery, but I had no idea until like the very end. Like I was really rather surprised and Tanya like figured it out right away. <laughs> And I was like, oh no, Tanya, you're way off. But I could tell you something that would like give it away for you because I was trying to throw her off, you know? And she was like, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. So I didn't tell her. But anyway, um, so it's about this woman and she's a therapist and her uh, husband, I think it's her husband, has died in a very tragic way. 
and it kind of still haunts her to this day. And she runs these group therapies. And when the book starts, she gets a call from her niece. She's had like a lot of loss in her family. Like her dad has passed away, her mom's passed away, her brother and sister-in-law passed away. I think it's her brother and sister-in-law have passed away. And so her niece, she's kind of like the guardian of her niece that goes to the school. Uh, the book takes place in England. And um, her best, fr her daughter, her niece's best friend has been murdered. And so the whole place takes place at Cambridge. So she goes there to like help her um, niece kind of get through all this. But while she's there, she kind of gets wrapped up into this murder mystery of solving this murder mystery. And the whole thing is kind of like done to the back set of um, like, uh, like Greek, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, like all of the Greek literature from back in the day. And, um, and it's kind of like done on, which I don't love all that. And I have to tell you, it didn't like ruin it for me at all. It was just kind of like a back part to the book. But there are so many characters in this book that I thought could have been the killer um, when you're reading it that it kind of throws you. Um, I thought the book was fantastic. I listened to it literally in like two days and um, it was kind of a slow start at first, but I really liked it. So I ended up giving it five stars. I thought it was great. It was my first book of his um, and I'm excited to read The Silent Patient, even though my best friend told me everything that happens like two years ago and I still remember to this day. So I'm like, okay, great. Like I'm gonna know everything that happens in this book, but I am gonna read the book. Um, the second book, I just finished it a couple days ago, is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. And I really didn't know what to think about this book when I got into it because, or when I got it, because I'd heard such great things about it. But at the same time, I'd been reading so many thrillers this month. I had just finished um, The Taking of Jake Livingston, which is a new young adult book that just came out, which I have to tell you, um, I could not get into it at first. I like listened to like the first half an hour, 40 minutes, hour maybe. And I was like, eh, I don't know that I really like this. Oh my God, such a phenomenal book. I ended up giving it five out of five stars. It was fantastic. The Taking of Jake Livingston. It's unbelievable. It's important. It's purposeful. It's well written. The characters are interesting, and it's a great mystery on top of all of that. Um, so anyway, I, then I was reading um, People We Meet on Vacation, which is about this um, this girl and this guy, this woman and this man, and they have been friends since college. They're now, like, in their 30s, and they're complete polar opposites of what they, like, he, like, they met at college, and he was, like, they talk a lot about this in the book, that he wore khaki pants and, like, just, like, a button-down collared shirt, and she was kind of, like, artsy and different, and he became a high school history teacher and she writes, she started a travel blog that then turned into her working and writing a column for this R and R magazine, which is um, like rest and relaxation. I think it's like a travel magazine, like con Nast travel. It's like a really high level magazine that she writes for. And so, um, every year since college because they, the way that they, they met on campus and then they did like a ride share like home one year because they're both from like the same town and um, ever since then they've been like best friends. It really reminded me of those like Julia Roberts, Hugh Grant movies from back in the day and um, like my best friend's wedding and all that. And so for 12 years, they've gone on a vacation every year together. And all these vacations from like Sanibel Island to uh, Palm Springs to Tuscany to British Columbia, all over the place. There's 12 trips and she goes through each trip. Like while she's doing this summer, which is in Palm Springs, she flashes back to like all of the previous trips. She works it back from like trip one all the way to today. Because because there was something that happened two years previous to that. That guy's like staring a hole through me. Uh, paparazzi, no thank you. Um, there was something that happened, they were in Croatia two years before and something happened on the trip that caused this fight where they just have never spoken since. And so it's been two years since they've spoken and she misses him like crazy and her life is falling apart and she can't figure out what it is. It's like very pretty in pink, that movie, you know? It's like she can't figure out what it is, she can't find, she got her keys, she's got her kids, she's got all that, but she can't figure out what's wrong with her life and she realizes, oh, it's my best friend, I've been missing him forever, right? 
So she gets him to go on this trip with her to, to Palm Springs as like one last like effort to like rekindle their friendship. And it's really about that. Um, I really thought I thought I would think the book was cheesy and it totally is not cheesy. It is fantastic. And the dialogue is hilarious. The things that happen to them are hilarious. Um, but it is very endearing too. And I finished the book. I was listening to it at the pool the other day and I was laying on my stomach trying to get my back and my back of my legs tan. And, um, which is so funny because everywhere I go, people are like, you're so tan. And I'm like, well, I just go to the pool every day. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I was laying on my stomach and I was like bawling listening to the end of this book. I was like literally ugly crying at the end of this book. So, um, yeah, I'm really uh, happy that I picked this book for um, the book club, and I am um, excited to read Beach Read as, as well, because if it's anything like this one, which I think it is, I think it's about two writers that meet on vacation or go on vacation, and they're going to act like they're together for like the entirety of the trip or something like that. I can't remember, but anyway... It's supposed to be really cute as well. This could totally be a movie. Um, and there's like a lot of like side characters too. She's a really like, I'm somebody that I don't really care so much about the plot of the book, but if you write interesting characters, I'm sold, right? And she just writes phenomenally interesting characters. And um, even like the side characters, like the parents and the brothers and all this kind of stuff are really interesting. To, and even like her friends, like she has this, best friends, Rachel, all these people who's like a fellow like influencer. She like takes, she's like a fashion influencer or like best friend. It's like interesting. She goes, they, oh, they go back and they talk about like all their exes and stuff like that too, which is like interesting. Like her talking about both of their relationships in retrospect. It's just a really good, feel good book. Um, and I read it super quick. I just could not stop listening to it. The narration is great. I think it's by Julia Whalen, who's like one of my favorite narrators on Audible. Um, but it's really, really good. So, did I read The Taking of Jake Livingston before that? Or did I read the new uh, Misfortune book came out by Gina DeLeon, book 20. Um, Rightfully Fortune. It's Halloween in the sinful Louisiana, and I just finished that as well. So, anyway, if you haven't read The Maidens by Alex Michaelides, and I think I'm mispronouncing his name. I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> and you haven't read um, People We Meet on Vacation, I would highly recommend them. Um, I'm really glad I picked them for the book club this month. If I had to pick one over the other, I would definitely uh, recommend People We Meet on Vacation. And even the title, I love how it plays out later in the book. Um, it's real cute. And it just reminds me of a lot of like old movies from back in the day, like um, You've Got Mail and all those. You guys remember those movies? It reminds me of all those movies from back in the day. So anyway, um, all those rom-coms from like the 80s and early 90s, that's what it reminds me of. It's really cute and it's really well done. So I would definitely recommend that. Anyway, and the, my book for uh, Peter's Book Club for August is called Falling. And I don't remember who it's by. It's by TJ Somebody. And she was a flight attendant on Virgin Airlines and some other airlines forever. And... Um, she wrote a book about a pilot whose plane is um, taken because um, his family has been kidnapped and he has to, he's told he has to crash the plane or his family will be killed. So, it's, it, somebody compared it to, they said it was Jaws at 35,000 feet in the air. I was like, oh my God. So that's the August book for Peter's Book Club. So let me know if you're gonna read along for that. Um, in August, but I wanted to just get on here and do a little review of the books for Peter's Book Club for uh, this month, uh, for July of 2021. I will be doing a full um, wrap-up video in August, the first week probably, of all of the books that I've read in July, which is a lot. I've read so many books this month. <laughs> And really great books, too. Like, I was talking to Mel about this the other day, my book club partner for a True Crime Book Club, um, which, by the way, our, the live stream for a True Crime Book Club is a week from this Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we were talking because she said that she has really slowed down on her reading, you know, and she's been so busy with work and stuff. And I said, oh, don't beat yourself up about it or whatever. And she's like, I know, but there are so many books that I want to read. And I said, you know, people never understand that when I say that to people that are not readers, that it's like, they're like, why, why what's this 
race to like get to a certain number. And I'm like, it's the fact that the more books that I read, the more characters I'm introduced to, the more worlds I'm introduced to, you know? And there's so many great books out there that I want to read that the more books I read, the more books I get to read, or the more characters I'm introduced to and the more worlds I'm introduced to. And, and I just love that. So um, it's been a great month of reading and I've just had such a blast. So anyway... If you read those books, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.